Hi. Welcome back to the studio. My name is Emily Howard and I am the Diggingest Girl. I am an artist, an author, a printmaker, illustrator, painter, and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Today in this studio, we are going to be doing a puzzle block print. Now, puzzle block is a method of printmaking that involves cutting up the block and inking those pieces separately in order to achieve multiple colors in a single pull. And this is what we're gonna be making. Oh my God, Valentine's Day cuteness. And I did this in one single pull. It's 12 pieces and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's go. So this is my sketch and this is my color plan. It's pretty ambitious. This means that I'm going to have 12 different colors, 12 different pieces. Um, but even though that sounds um, a little complicated, it's actually pretty simple. So buckle up and let's get started. In my print, I am attempting to achieve a sense of three dimensions. So I have to think about where the light is coming from. So I'm pretending that the light is coming from this way. So that means this part of the conversation heart is going to be getting the most light. So it should be the lightest. This part here um, is getting a mid-range amount of light and this is getting the least amount of light. So my color plan includes four main colors plus the tint and shade of those four colors. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer your drawing onto your Blick ready cut plate. So this is the front, this is what we wanna use. And I'm just gonna trim around my drawing. And I do wanna leave a border because I want something that my fingers can grab onto later on when I cut this into 12 pieces. simply just going to flip this over and tape it into place. Orientation doesn't really matter because I'm going to be cutting it apart anyway, so it doesn't super matter if it's straight on the block. Now all I need to do is simply apply pressure to the back and I like to use my bone folder it is a bookbinding tool, but just burnish the back of the drawing. Be careful not to let it move. Check my progress, see that my lines are transferring. Make that a little better. Looks pretty good. So if I were going to be printing this with black ink, I would lock in these lines with a Sharpie. But since I'm going to be using all of these light colors, I don't want to run the risk of my Sharpie printing through those inks. So I'm gonna set that aside and I can see this pretty well. So I think we're gonna be okay. Now, when it comes to carving, you see pretty much all of this is getting ink. All I really need to cut out is this uh, background space and the letters. And then all I have to do is cut them apart. So this should be a quick carve.
Each of these hearts has three separate pieces, the main heart, this side piece, and this side piece, so I have to cut them apart. Let's start with this one. So I'm gonna go straight in, and it is surgical, y'all. Follow your line, and then keep going. it in. Oops. Follow your line. Keep going. Boop. Keep these grouped together because it'll be really easy for all of these pieces to get lost. But let's pretend you're just doing one, like a sane person might. Okay. I am going to just go for it. Sometimes it's easier to pull the knife. Sometimes it's easier to push the block. Just gotta decide what works for you. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got it. And I like to leave a little bit of the border so that, you know, there's something to hold on to so that our fingers don't get too inky. And now we've got all of our pieces. We can ink them separately and then put them back together. Genius! Well, please excuse the state of my caps, but this is the ink that I'm using for the project today. My favorite brand is Cranfield Colors Caligo Safe Wash Relief Ink because it is really easy to clean up and it comes in so many beautiful colors and the quality of ink is amazing. So this is what I used to make my entire palette. Sort of terrified to peel it, but let's go. Hey, pretty cute. And that's it. That's it for the puzzle block method. 
So if you guys have made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with me on the internet. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please consider hitting the like button and also maybe subscribing for more art content. I've got a lot of fun videos planned for the rest of the year, so I hope you'll join me. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.